Hello, hello, and hello to all of my Aries. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your Motivational Monday reading, Aries. If you haven't had a chance to watch Sunday's video, you may want to consider watching it. We always have questions on Sunday's video. These questions for Sunday's video, um, and it may be still Sunday when you watch this video or maybe Monday, but this is your Motivational Monday reading for the 19th of June through the 19th of July. This, uh, these last questions that was for the, the video on the 18th are preparing you for the first quarter moon phase in Libra. So if you haven't had an opportunity to watch those videos right now, during this new moon phase, you should be resting and thinking about what seeds you want to plant to manifest in this particular cycle, whether it's taking a trip, you know, or vacation or, um, you know, buying a car, a house, attracting, you know, preparing your life for new love, losing weight, gaining weight, you know, changing your diet, whatever it is you want to manifest, you know, this is where you, your time to plant some seeds. Think about what seeds you want to plant. Let's get into it. Nine of Wands, Four of Wands. We also have the Goddess card, the King of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and also the Queen of Wands. So here we have long and arduous journey, highs and lows of things. Somebody feels like a huge weight has been lifted off of their shoulders. And then we also have the Goddess card. So I do see, you know... Um, Somebody entering into a season of abundance and prosperity. Here we have the King of Pentacles. This is the wealthiest card in the deck. And so we also have the Queen of Wands. I see somebody feeling happy, charismatic, and free. Possibly a new and exuberant love coming into somebody's life, coming out of this long and arduous journey for something else that caused you a lot of uh, frustration, caused you a lot of, you know, I'm not really sure why these things are happening, that kind of thing. And you walk right in, for somebody, you're walking right into a new and exuberant love that's going to help, um, that's going to help take your mind off of some things. And also, you, somebody's probably either going to the beach or thinking about going to the beach, you know, kind of calming that fire down a little bit, coming out the other side. You know, you need to kind of sort of, wash off all of the burn wounds you may have been burned by a lot of people hurt by a lot of people and so source is saying you know that water is just what you need to kind of calm you down maybe going on a trip somewhere or like i said drinking more water or something having to do with water to kind of sort of soothe the pain of the highs and lows that somebody went through in preparation in preparation for this wealth here here we have the knight of pentacles the ten of wands the six of wands we also have the king the page of pentacles the eight of swords and also the lover's card well all right now some kind of partnership is coming across your path whether it's partnership in love or partnership in business for somebody and i do see you being victorious you know in terms of like you know your wish fulfillment whatever you've been wishing for here we also have the eight of swords so this lets me know that someone has been overthinking something and sabotaging themselves like self-sabotage right of overthinking something that was just frustrating confusing you wearing you out whatever you didn't have mental clarity about certain situations and now that you've decided to move on that's exactly what god wanted you to do so somebody could have reached out to people several times and got no response or you know several times you communicated with people it wasn't clear so you decided whatever the situation was you could have felt like you were burned or someone um you felt powerless in certain situations so you said hey, you know what i need to move on from it right so i do see you moving on and the sacrifice was okay when you move on this is god saying when you move on then I'm going to make sure I keep you booked and busy. But that was the sacrifice. You had to sacrifice them so that you could be booked and busy. And so it looks like somebody put forth an effort and somebody tried and it just, like I said, wasn't successful. And so you said, I need to move on. So I see you continuing to do the energy work and I do see more information coming to you about how to increase your money. Stay focused, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. You don't always have to be doing something. Your default is to send out energy into the universe. So sources like as much as you are able to do things successfully, Aries, sometimes it's time for, it's time to just sit down and be in receiving mode of messages from God. What is God trying to tell you and how to receive, you know, how to receive more wealth, right? This, um, somebody is, um, somebody's, the more and more you're, you're exhausting yourself um, you're actually affecting your, uh, you're affecting your solar plexus chakra where you're throwing that out of alignment. So now when you feel like, okay, well, and that can put, that can actually have an adverse effect looking like looking at your, your swords. I mean, looking at your cards here that can cause somebody to come across as bullying because, okay, I gotta, I gotta show some rage or I gotta, I gotta tell a person off. I gotta cuss a person out. So it's just like, you don't have to do all of that. When you use your fire, 
that powerful fire sign that you are for warmth, you're going to get everything that you want. And so sources like anything that causes you burnout, toss it into a burning bowl. Doesn't matter who it who it's from or where it's from, toss it into a burning bowl. If you're confused, not sure, I'm not whatever it is where it's causing you a distraction, toss it into a burning bowl. Toss it into a burning bowl. Release it in love because God is trying to send a twin flame across your path, whether it's a partnership in business or partnership in love, where there's total clarity. So that so you want to make sure that flame is, you know, your flame is in a good space. You know, you want to know how you want to learn how to use your fire. And so so you can prepare to receive this right here. So you got it. So source is trying to get somebody to be in receiving mode, not always giving, 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 giving extra thought to this, getting upset about that. Always got to be doing something. So it's like sit down somewhere so I can send you what you prayed for, whatever it is that you prayed for. We also have the Queen of Wands. We also have the Death card. We also have the Knight of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Three of Cups, and also the Three of Pentacles. So the Death card, somebody may be cutting ties with the Scorpio. Um, and you know, again, that's the sacrifice. Somebody says, you know what? I'm stressed out. So I need to, I need to, I need to move on from some things, right? Death card is attached to Scorpio. It's a rebirth that we're having here. And this rebirth, like I said, the sacrifice was source to say, okay, now you got all of this energy as most Aries do. I'm getting ready to make sure you booked and busy because you're equipped for it. You can handle it. I'm about to make you wealthy. So that's all, that's all God was trying to wait for somebody to do is break a generational cycle chain or curse a lot of times when i'm looking at this right here it could have been like somebody's in a situation where you know how um you know how sometimes uh parents will say um to their kids you all you uh what what is it you all you all are all you have like you know in order it's like it's almost it's like this dying wish that no matter how bad you were treated by your siblings no matter what y'all stick together even though some siblings could be really hurting you still this that i gotta I, I gotta honor that promise that i made so somebody is saying i'm breaking a generational cycle chain and curse i'm not staying connected to stuff that's burning me out upsetting me that much causing me to look bad in other areas of my life there's no way and so here we have the three of pentacles somebody could be in the music industry or love music or play keyboard or something like see these keyboards right here something having to do with music somebody is definitely trying to be in harmony you know with um with themselves so that again people can feel your warmth everybody that's connected to you that's connected to somebody else, people can see feel that warmth and not a blowtorch here we also have the three of cups so i do see somebody um i do see uh somebody um being in a posture of gratitude Again, it's easier for when people, you know, when you think about trying to sit around that warmth, right? They're sitting around that, that bonfire. Nobody's sitting around a forest fire when somebody can't, don't know how to use their fire. So sources say the warmer you are and the more you are able to assert, you know, your boundaries, like take action, you know, these are my boundaries, you know, and, and so if a bridge is burned, then I'll, I don't have a problem moving on. So somebody see these three right here. Somebody may say, you know what? Three strikes and you're out. You burn me three times. I'm going to leave the bridge burn. I'm not extending any more olive branches. So that's what Source is trying to tell somebody is that set some clear boundaries in place, but don't let it throw you out where, you, where you're so triggered. You're pulling out a blowtorch and guess who's going to look bad? You right so i do see somebody feeling happy charismatic and free and moving on but because you moved on from something finally here we have the knight of swords i do see somebody taking some physical action to say i need to stay as far away from any overthinking that causes me to vibrate low that air with that fire i need to stay away from anything that's going to cause my 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 fire to explode you know, where I just feel like I just lost my temper and going, I need to stay away from people, places and things that cause that to happen, that, you know, and I need to stay in harmony with myself, right? Maybe music is the thing that's going to really calm somebody down. Whatever it is that you need to, to use to calm yourself down. Here we have the page of swords. I see the anxiety going away. I see the anxiety going away. So let's see what else we got going on here. Oops, let's see what else we have going on here. So again, happy Motivational Monday to each and every one of you all. Use your fire responsibly. <laughs> 
Um, and so, like I said, you'll see the wealth. The wealth comes in a lot of different ways, looking at the cards here, because so you could be attached to somebody who's in the music industry, or you could be in the music industry yourself, or you know, could have a child or grandchild or somebody that's, that's it has, it has something to do with music. That's also contributing to your wealth. But again, remember, um, remember there's other people involved. You know, it's it's like, remember, whoever you're attached to, they come from somewhere else, too. They come from a family as well. So in the case of somebody being in a new and exuberant love, they didn't just fall off the back of a turnip truck. So as much as you love them, guess what? If they love their family, you're going to have to make an effort to get along with the family as well, right? But again, creating a very warm environment. If you have kids or grandkids, they have two parents. And if those parents are alive and you're saying, I don't get along with one of them and I don't want to have anything to do with the other one, again, you are pushing yourself further and further away from this card right here. Again, create very warm boundaries. Or if they are, whatever their purpose is in life, if they're, even if it makes you feel uncomfortable, okay, guess what? It's, you know, again, very firm boundaries, warm boundaries. So it's time to take action. Time to take action, time to take action, time to take action. All right, so let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Sweet treat. That's right. Show people how sweet you are. Show people how sweet you are. Definitely looked like it was some things that was like a scorpion sting for somebody. But if you're at a higher frequency and you're seeing things from an expanded view, that expanded view will let you know that it's, it's, it's other energies involved. So everybody has to respect boundaries here. So that's that King of Cups right here. That King of Cups is whenever I get stressed out, I need to be near water. I need to be near water. Fire festival. That's right, 11. Through flame and through song, there will rise a new dawn. Number card, and let's close it out. Oh, let's get another oracle card here. Let's get another oracle card here. Flow. Like I said, water. Allow me, divine, to move with the flow and respond with calmness and peace. To respond with calmness and peace. Freedom. Affirmations for freedom. I am free to be me. I am free to live fully. I am present in this moment. I am not bound by my circumstances. I am stronger than fear or doubt. I have the power to create a new reality. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, like I said, keep that in mind for somebody who is entering into a new and exuberant love. Um or a new and exuberant love could mean a lot of different things, whether it's romantic love or, you know, a, a new grandchild or new child or whatever kind of love, new family, you're in, being introduced to someone else's family or you're reconnecting with family, whatever the situation is, again, go with God's flow is what Source is trying to tell you. And then, of course, if there's anything that causes anger, frustration or whatever, toss it into a fire pit and recognize it's we're in a whole new cycle. That's what I have for you, Aries. And I will see you all. I will see you all on Wednesday. We must make sure. Let me get, get a number card. I don't think I got a number card for you. But yeah, congratulations to whomever is either going into business with somebody or a new love. 27, I am expressive. Your, your mind is wide open and you are tolerant and compassionate toward all, uh, towards ways of life, to all, all ways of life. You value freedom of expression and you want to improve the conditions of people, whether in your community, country, or the world at large. That is what I have for you and I will see you all on Wednesday. Bye.